Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is another vlog. I'm starting another vlog. Um, I just posted one today, but I'm tired, guys. I'm really tired. I'm worn down physically, mentally, emotionally, everything. It's been hard the past several months. Um, we decided to do homeschooling. Um, yeah, we're going to homeschool the kids. I think that's a really good choice. I think it's going to be a lot better than the spring session with all the Zoom meetings. I think this will be, I think this will be a much, much better option. We contacted the, um, the school district's homeschool partnership program. And so we don't have to pay for anything. We just you we just choose the homeschool option, and then they can go up to the homeschool partnership building on Wednesdays for uh, elective classes. And I think that's going to be really really good, a really good option. So, like Thursdays and Fridays, I would homeschool them. Um, their mom would homeschool them on Monday and Tuesday, and then Wednesday they go up to the home partnership program building. Um, Lily is going to take culinary arts and photography. And I think Andrew is doing coding or something like that. But there's electives for every age group from kindergarten till they graduate. Um, and then when they graduate, they would still get the school district's um, regular diploma. Um, that took about a month of hemming and hawing and trying to pull information out of the school district to get some form of answer. I think that was the hardest part, was trying to find answers to questions. And we finally just said, we'll homeschool. So I am sitting in front of a fan. We don't have air conditioning still. Um, we're not going to get it this summer, which is okay. Um, like I said, most days it's fine uh, and actually pretty comfortable, so it's no big deal. Um, but yeah, I am. We're me and Aaron are worn down to a nub, if you want to put it that way. And I'm just trying to find some form of uh, sanity right now. Um, one thing that we solved that was really good was the refrigerator. I don't know if I've talked about that before, but the refrigerator has been, um, there was appliances when Aaron moved into this house. There was a really old refrigerator downstairs, but um, some of the stuff that's down there makes me think that they redid the basement after some of the stuff was down there. Um, because like there was an old tube TV down there, a monster tube TV, probably only like 40 inches, but when those TVs are like 40 inches, they're massive. And uh, anyways, I was looking out the window. Um, we're gonna have to take that thing apart to get it up the stairs. I don't know how they got it down the stairs. Um, but anyways, the refrigerator up here in the kitchen, after a couple of months, every couple of months we would do this and it would start to, you could hear like in the fan of the refrigerator start to get loud and we couldn't figure out what was going on the first time it happened. Um, and then the food, the food starts, to, the noise stops and then the food starts to get warm. And the refrigerator starts to get warm and it's like, what is going on? So we empty the refrigerator out, we take it downstairs into that old refrigerator, unplug the refrigerator up here, let it thaw and then do it again. And we were trying to get a find a reputable fridge refrigerator that wasn't a Samsung, but that if we were to drop $2,000 on a refrigerator, would it last? Would some mechanism start going bad after just a couple of years? And every few months for the past year or so, we've been doing that trying to find something and finally we just bit the bullet because it's only been about a month since that happened and I'm just like wanting to run for the hills 
you know what I mean? When that kind of stuff happens, when that happened on top of everything else, not to mention that we're dealing with the insurance company for the roof. We're trying to get that done so we can do the refinancing. Um, my car situation still sucks like nobody's business. But finally, uh, last Tuesday, we went and we bought a refrigerator and it's going to be here tomorrow. And I told Aaron that I'm going to sleep inside of that thing because I know that that won't happen anymore. Um, there was, you know how people do on some couponing pages on Instagram, they will do like class, class action lawsuits and they'll try to get in on it just to get a, f a free like eight or nine dollars. There was actually one for the, this type of Samsung refrigerator, uh, because of the mechanism inside of it going bad. And there was something going on with our stove a few months ago, called a re appliance repairman. He said uh, only certain Samsung, only Samsung certified refrigerator repairman can work on it. And it's not one of the new fancy Samsungs that has, has like the, you know, the French door and the pullout drawer and, you know, a tablet on the front. And, it's nothing like that. It's an older one. And I'm just so over that. I mean, to the point where I can't sleep and I'm nauseous over the all these issues right now. And it's getting... There is some light at the end of the tunnel because we know now what we're doing with the school. Where the problem with the refrigerator and the roof are going to be taken care of but everything happened at once. Then there's COVID. I just, it's not been a good few months. And I know it's been lightweight for a lot of people. I know it has been, and I just, I'm over it. But anyways, it's about 10 minutes of talking, like seven minutes of talking. Um, let's uh, do some vlogging. Okay, guys, so I went to Ulta, and I went. I want to show you the my Ulta haul that I got. Now, I showed some of this in my second Walgreens haul video that I posted on the 25th, only because some of it was 90% off. I got a few other things, and I'll just show you everything I got. I don't think I have the receipt on me, but anyways, this was... The Mineral 89, it hydrates, plumps, and fortifies. It is a daily skin booster. Now, this was a 90% off at Ulta because they aren't going to carry this line anymore in stores. Um, I don't think so. this will work online, but this was uh, $2. Uh, this was $2.95, and I got one of these. I got two of these. So I'm gonna keep one and one's gonna be gifted. Then I got two of these guys here. These are $24. This is Mineral 89 Eyes Repairing Eye Fortifier. It hydrates and brightens the eye area, smooths fine lines. And so this was $2.40. And there is an expiration date on the bottom of all these, so you can check your expiration dates. So I got two of those. One will be for me and one will be gifted. But then I got four of these. This is a different packaging and it's in Russian. I don't get why this was at an Ulta in Middle America. But anyways, let me get this one here. See, here's the expiration date, 422. And this is the... Um, Wrong side, Sarah. This is the Rehydrating Cream Aqualia Thermal. And this was $31.50 or $31. But anyways, this was $3.10. And I got four of these guys. Four of these guys. This is the same thing, uh, just older packaging. Here's another one. 
and here is a, another one here. And I saved $207. I'll show you my receipt in a second. The next thing I got was this Essence. Essence. This is a, a really cheap brand, kind of like a Wet n Wild. This is the Lash Princess False False Lash Effect Mascara. This was only $5, and this is adorable. I mean, and this is like rubberized, a good rubberized grip on there, and it's just adorable. Then I got some putty eye primer. Um, if you saw my CBS video, I told you about a good trick for putty eye or putty eye for eye primer um, is to put it on your nose to help your foundation stay on your nose better. And they had them in different colors, but I got the white to kind of make it blend in with my foundation. They had a, an arrange an arrange I can't even talk guys they had a wide variety of colors but they were pretty dark compared to my skin tone so I just grabbed the white and this was only five dollars and then I went in there to see if they had any stuff by the ordinary and they only carried this kind here um, the ordinary if you don't know about the ordinary definitely look it up it's very simple clean basic skincare now they only target like one or two areas per product but if you get three or four products and it's still like under 25 dollars it is the best skincare line and this is a peptide serum so i definitely am excited to give this a try here is my receipt for everything and then i did get it today and then I saved $207. Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to show you my view when I wake up in the morning. Um, it's very peaceful and it is a calming. It's something that calms me, makes me feel at ease and at peace a lot. Uh, a lot of times when I wake up, I just jump up and rush out of here and don't take a second to just reflect on, you know, the things that we do have um, and not the things that we don't have. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you that. I'm doing a lot better than uh, it's been a few days since I have vlogged and I'm doing a lot better mentally. And this view is helping me because I just sit here or lay here and look out the window and listen to the birds, listen to even the wind, look at the trees. I feel like I'm in a tree house, so it's kind of neat. Um, but yeah, let's go take on the day. So I wanted to show you guys a deal that I did with Bath and Body Works. They had another promotion on their candles and it was $10 off the three wick candles. And then what happened is I had a 20% off digital. I will leave some links down below for you to follow in case you're interested because I didn't get the 20% off or the spend 40 get um, $10 off coupon. Um, so what you can do is um, you can follow these people and take screenshots and then you can show them at the store and you can actually use both of them. I was only able to use one because I wasn't able to get to a store, but I still wanted to do the deal. So I just bought a couple of candles and they always ship the candles mostly. Now I've only never had it to where they shipped it like this, but they ship them usually like this. So I got four candles. And this is actually really good packaging. Typically what they'll do is they'll put them all in, not like this, but like this. Um, so anyways, I got, hold on, let me. I got this one here with the black top. That is like a scenery. I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of like a scenery. And this is leaves. I've showed this before. I love this candle. It is crisp red apple, golden network nectar, and warm clove spice. Love this guy.
And it's good that they put them in a box like this instead of how the other kind that they have because then you can wrap it in a gift if you want. But mainly I got these for the packaging. This one here is adorable. This one is sugared pumpkin pie. I absolutely love this. And I love that this is matte black. That's like my favorite thing ever. But this is sugared pecan pie. I hope it smells good. The scent notes sounded good, but it's gooey brown sugar filling, toasted pecans, homemade pie crust. Hello. Absolutely. And if I don't think this one smells good, well, this one I'll keep anyways because it's just so cute. Um, I would give it away as a gift. So I'm going to smell it. Let's hope. Oh my God, that smells amazing. Amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm going to light it today. It's so nice. Okay, so then I got pumpkin snickerdoodle. This one is a little bit different style, but I wanted the scent. Warm sugar cookies, ground cinnamon, fresh nutmeg, sprinkled with sugar. I don't know what this one smells like either. So let's smell it. Oh my goodness. It smells just like a snickerdoodle with a hint of pumpkin in there, even though it doesn't say there's any pumpkin in there. But anyways, yes. Oh wait, we got one more. And these are going in the closet. Oh, this is another black one. And this one is the perfect autumn. And this one, the scent notes are fresh cranberry, spiced pumpkin, crisp apple, and rich clove. I think I've smelled this one before. Let's see. Oh, that's very nice. That one is very nice too. I like this one. So no gifts, oh darn. So yeah, I'll leave some links down below. So for tonight's dinner, since it's been cooling off, I thought I would make some chili. And it's nothing spectacular, but I just take some hamburger, I brown it up, and um, I actually use a wok. Is that not silly? I don't know. I think it works the best. Yeah, it's not. I need like a GoPro when I'm cooking because I don't know. But anyways, that is going to brown up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop some onions. So I'm just going to chop an onion up and then I'll show you what I add in there. And I don't do a lot of onion only because like I like the flavor, but like my stomach doesn't like the flavor if there's a ton of onions and things. And I've always been like that. So I'm just going to cut this up real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in with the hamburger now just to kind of help uh, so it's just not floating around in tomato sauce and then I'll show you what I use. So then I use an 8 ounce can of tomato sauce and this is for a thicker chili. This is not for um, a runnier chili. I use a can of these, the diced tomatoes and green chilies, the mild of course. Then I use some kidney beans. And then I use pinto beans. And I'll put the sizes that I use down in the description box for this guy here. So I have the onion in with the hamburger. I just think that would make it taste better than waiting until the hamburger is done. And 
And I know I can buy like some frozen chopped onions, but uh, fresh onions taste a little bit better in my opinion. Then after everything is in there, you just stir it up and I let it come to a, I don't know, a gentle boil, I guess you could say. And then what I do is I just let it simmer with the top on it. And then I just let it simmer until it's, you know, people are hungry and I leave it simmering super, super, super low on low until everyone's done eating. So yeah, I'm just gonna stir this up. One time I made it and I totally forgot about the uh, chili powder, chili mix or whatever. Oops. Oh well, I'll show you the finished product and we eat it with, uh, what? we eat it with like a butter cracker. I can't think of the name of it, but I'll show you. There's the finished product and We use club crackers. So, so good.